Hello and welcome back to the Absolute Beginners course in web development. And uh, before we get started in today's lesson, what I'm going to do is answer a couple questions that we got. Uh, number one, are you going to be talking about links? Yes, we will be talking about links, anchor links, jump links, and so on and so forth, maybe in the next lesson. And we had another question say, can you put more than one target name in div ID? So if you watched the last video, let me go ahead and bring it up here. If you go look at the code here, uh, where we're talking about all about div IDs. And so what they're asking here is whenever you come down in this div ID, can you put another name because you can do the same you can do that in classes and so let me bring up the uh, editor I'm just gonna copy this real quick and show you guys and I thought that I explained this in the last one but on a div ID you can only have one target name on a div class you can have goo you can have uh, Q Lou and all of these can be styled in different in different CSS syntaxes and we're going to be getting into CSS pretty deep but uh, we're not done with HTML yet so uh, we're going to try to take it in order so that's what that's all about um, let me go ahead and close this out without saving and we'll go ahead because I told you guys in our next lesson we're going to be going over tables and that's what we're going to do right now so without further ado as we walk down our little path through the woods we're going to right click and select new document your screen may say new file or so on something similar to that but you just click empty document and we once again want to write index dot html okay just like that there and then if you go to the uh, first course um, absolute beginners course in web development it will, I have your bare bones in here that you can just copy and paste so right here so if you grab that here's your bare bones we're going to start with the bare bones of an HTML document and uh, we're going to go from there so we're just going to right click open with and then You'll use Notepad or your text editor. We're going to use Gedit on a Linux system here. We're going to right click and paste in that bare bones HTML. Okay. So once again, let's go up into the head tag and drop down a couple lines and insert a title. And in this title, we're going to be talking about uh, HTML tables. Okay. And that's what we'll be doing. And if we save that document and uh, put it off to the side there, double click this one. This will bring up your default browser. And your default browser will load up your, uh, your file. So if you look right here, it says HTML tables. That's what we changed in the title, HTML tables. Okay, let's go into the body. Now, Tables are the same thing as with, you know, open and close tags, okay? They're a little bit different because they have more open and close tags. But let's go ahead and talk about this. T-A-B-L-E, that's a table tag. And, of course, you got to do your T-A-B-L-E close table tag like that with your slash in the front, okay? Now, let's just drop that down and let's go up in between, the first thing that a table needs is a table row, okay? And in HTML, that's just TR, okay? And then you have to close that row, TR, okay? So here's a table row opening tag, table row closing tag with a slash, okay? Now with inside that table, you need columns, okay? A column is TD, all right? And then forward slash TD for the closing column tag. Now, depending on how many columns that you want in the table, all right, you will, let's, for, for example, let's put three columns in this table, 
Okay, well, there's one, two, three. And let's go in between here and put C O L U M N uh, number one. Copy column two, column three. Okay, so let's do this. Column two, column three. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's refresh our browser. Now you can see we have one, two, three. Okay, so we have those going down. But that's the way that's written. Now, if you want another row, okay, you have to copy from the open and closing of the table row tag. So we'll right click. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste that in there. And let's call this say uh, new one. We're not going to call them rows because they're columns. We'll call them new two and new three. And let's go ahead and save that. Now you can see that they appear right below the bottom. Okay, so columns are or tables are pretty easy, but you just have to get used to, you know, this opening and closing uh, tags for making your table. All right, so let's let's talk about a little bit about um, the uh, column span. Okay, so let's say that you wanted just one row at the top you wanted this to be one row clear across the top and then you wanted three underneath of it okay so let's get rid of these two you're going to need an element inside there and it's called c-o-l-s-p-a-n so let's let's type that in there c-o-l-s-p-a-n and then equals and you want it to span one two three columns so we're gonna put the number three in there okay and we're gonna save it and then when we refresh we see that we have one column here you know and it's spanning one two three columns all right so that's how that's how that works because if you had if you took out the uh, column span of three let me show you what happens refresh the page okay notice how we have this space here, you know, we have one table row up here, but then we have a space right here, and then these things are kind of like jumbled together, all right? So let me go ahead and put that column span back in there, so and refresh the page. All right, now this is spanning three columns, okay? It's not quite getting to the last one, but uh, if we can, well, what we'll do is we'll copy, paste, paste, paste. All right, let's say that we had something real long like that. Right, I'm just going to copy, column, column, column. Now you notice here, it's, you, it almost looks like it's, like it's in its column, but it's not. Uh, it's spanning three columns, and then these ones show up in their appropriate position. All right, so that's, that's that column span. All right. And we'll get into styling tables, but uh, what you want to do is just work with this. Work with the simple stuff first and get used to using that column span because you'll probably use it a lot within, uh, you know, you're developing whenever you're doing small stuff here. Um, these uh, tables, uh, I usually use uh, divs and stuff like that instead of tables. But if you got like some numbers that you're trying to pop out there so that they make sense, uh, you might want to get into you know you might need to use the use a table every now and then. So, all right. Well, this is a nice short lesson, and it's all about tables. I hope that this was we we're going slow enough, and you were able to understand it. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Contact me through my email, through my YouTube channel. But uh, my favorite way for you to get a hold of me is, is from the website. So as we walk along this little road here, we took a couple more steps forward. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was informative to you. This is Max.